everyone and welcome to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and today we are back in the Keller kitchen. If you can't tell, I am sick. I have been for the last two or three days. Um, hopefully it will be dissipating here in a little bit. Uh, but just in case seem a little bit strange and my voice sounds a little bit weird, that's why. Uh, so today we are going to be making something from the uh, Minecraft cookbook. It's the official Minecraft cookbook. Oops, a little flap fell off here. Today's recipe is called Flower Forest Greens. Now one thing with this recipe is it is supposed to have edible flowers in it, um, which I do not have available. Um, edible flowers are basically real flowers. Um, I think pansies is one of them and there's a list of a whole bunch of them that are edible for you to eat. And I have seen them kind of showing up in recipes and stuff. Um, but you have to be careful. You can't just go to the store and buy like a pot of pansies uh, because of what they're probably grown in most likely with like a fertilizer and stuff that's not good for you to eat. So um, yeah, it's usually something you have to grow on your own with like organic soil or just in the ground um, at your own house, things like that. And I unfortunately am not somebody who can grow flowers. I usually end up killing them. I can do a garden, but for some reason I forget to water flowers. So I don't know. So mine will not have the edible flowers in it just because of that. But if you would like to put the edible flowers in it, you're more than welcome to. Okay. And it, it, they do make it look really pretty. Okay. So, okay. All right. So the first thing that we are going to do is make the honey vinaigrette. And so what you're going to do is you're going to need one tablespoon of honey. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. All right. Um, okay, so one tablespoon of honey. You're just going to need a small bowl for this. <coughs> okay. You need one tablespoon of honey. <clears throat> I am so sorry. Um, one tablespoon <clears throat> of Dijon mustard. Um, two tablespoons of olive oil. <clears throat> I'm sorry if you guys are having trouble understanding me. The voice kind that comes and goes. Oh. You know, there we go. There we go. Okay. So two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. Then one tablespoon of lemon juice. And then just a dash of salt and pepper. And we'll do a dash there of salt and a dash here of pepper. Okay, you're just going to whisk that all together. Of course, the honey is going to be sticky at first. It's basically, it says it should look emulsified, that it, you should whisk it for about 20 seconds. <clears throat> there we go. Check the bottom, make sure all the honey's mixed in there. Okay, so you got a nice little honey vinaigrette dressing. Looks pretty good, okay? All right, so you're just gonna set that aside for a minute. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way so we can make the salad here. Here we go. Okay, so for the salad, you're gonna take, um, oh, uh, for the salad, for prep work ahead, you are going to need three radishes, thinly sliced, and a half of a Honeycrisp apple, 
thinly sliced as well, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this whole five ounce spring mix in here. Okay, there we go. All right, then you're also gonna put your three radishes in, your three thinly sliced radishes. And it's supposed to be half of the apple. I have a whole apple sitting here and I think I'm gonna basically use like the apple as a substitute for the edible flowers later and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so half, a half of a um, honey crisp apple. Then you're gonna need, it just says walnuts. So I think it actually means whole walnuts, but I had some chopped walnuts and I'm just gonna like, I'm not gonna buy another thing of walnuts just because they're done up differently. So I just am gonna use the chopped walnuts. I'm fine with that. Okay, so half a cup of chopped walnuts, or of walnuts, whole walnuts, I guess. Okay, there we go. Um, and then you're gonna need um, some Parmesan. So it is a fourth of a cup of shaved Parmesan. <clears throat> I think this is grated, not shaved, but again, I already have some Parmesan, so I'm just gonna use it. <coughs> okay, and then you're also supposed to put in the petals from half of your edible flowers. And um, that's supposed to be, you're supposed to use, <coughs> I'm so sorry, a half an ounce of edible flowers so you need a fourth of an ounce in the bowl, okay? And then <clears throat> once you get all of that in there, you're gonna add um, the honey vinaigrette and toss until evenly coated. Are we supposed to add all of it? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. So now usually I would use my hands at this point, but because this has got a dressing in it, I don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and toss this and get all of the salad covered in the honey vinaigrette. Tongs work great for this. If you don't want to put your hands in there. Okay, perfect. Now you've got a nice, a really nice salad actually. Like I said, with if it had the flowers in there, it would be a lot more color, so that's okay. Okay, so the last thing that you're going to do is garnish it with the additional edible flowers. But like I, since I don't have any, I'm gonna use the other half of my apple, okay? And I'm just gonna use it. It's not gonna be as colorful, but you know, that's okay. This should be good. Okay, so here is the finished salad, you guys. That looks great. All right. All right, now let me grab a fork and we'll try this and see how it looks. Or taste, I should say, that looks. All right, so let's make sure we get a little apple, maybe a little radish, some lettuce with the dressing on it. All right, here we go. Oh! Mm. Okay. All right, guys, so I am a big time ranch girl, but I can say, that's a pretty good dressing. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit not. Gives just a little bit of flavor mixed in with a little bit of the, with the lettuce and a little bit of the apple for the sweet and not sweet. It's really good. I actually really like that. All right, you guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Like and subscribe if you like or don't if you don't. Everyone have a good day. Enjoy your cooking. Keep your kitchen messy and we'll see you later. Bye.